So for the time that I've been here, I, when I took this job, I was an engineer, and a civil engineer in the Ministry of Agriculture in my country. And when I, I came here, I had been working in the drainage and irrigation sector. And one of the things, one of the problems we have is, is modeling. We can't do modeling because we don't have ground data. And a lot of the, the work that we've done here is how to build models, how to get free data from you know, satellites and whatnot, and to make that work. And it's very important for developing countries because it's very expensive to invest in the, the sensing equipment and whatnot. But here you have all this free data floating around in the sky, quite literally. And IAG teaches you how to make the most of that, how to use existing tools, how to build on them, how to improve those tools, to adapt them to the circumstances in your country and your profession. So that's one of the things I think will be very useful for my job. The multicultural environment here, it teaches you a lot of things, but one of my favorite things out of it would be the food. I've tasted food from all over the world, Africa, Asia, the other places in the Caribbean, the US, Europe. And I found a lot of similarities, some interesting differences. And there, it, it's so amazing to, to find those, you know, that somebody prepares a dish almost exactly like you do at home from a place that's 6,000 miles away. And they've never heard of yours and you've never heard of theirs, but it tastes like almost the same. Um, I live in a student house called, uh, it's, it's Amina Kruzmanstrat, and it's entirely IHE students. So it's a very warm, friendly place. There are a lot of get-togethers. Um, I don't know if you'd call them fights. We love to share, we, we have to share all these common rooms when it comes to the group work. But um, every time there's a party or an event, somebody's got a dinner, people just show up, chairs show up you know, food shows up, things just come and it turns into a lovely event and there's so much going on at Mino.